Doodle Bud here. This is my Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. I absolutely love this pen, but it has a problem. This pen doesn't suck. And what I mean by that, it doesn't suck up ink. This pen is a vac filler, so you screw the back, pull out this rod, depress it. It forces air out of this chamber, creating a little low pressure system, a little vacuum, and the seal will break. If this nib is inside of a bottle of ink, it will now suck up ink into the body. That's how you fill it. Since day one, I got this pen. I got this secondhand, got a really good price on it because it had some nib issues. Uh, nib issues aside, the filling of the pen has always been problematic. It, sometimes it gets a good fill, most of the time, not so much. I was always confused by that, but never stopped to bother to look. I went to do an ink change just the other night and I found the problem. I was cleaning the pen out to do an ink swap. And what you do here, if you want to get nice and thorough, is you just unscrew the nib unit from the body. And I went down in there, cleaned it out, was going to apply some grease. And then when I noticed the nib unit, I found there's something missing. This is the back of the nib housing. And that little groove right there is designed to accept an O-ring. So I'm not sure how long this has been missing the O-ring. I would say since I got the pen, and I couldn't find out exactly the size of this O-ring. I double checked, I looked for some uh, pictures of the Visconti nib unit and I could see they look exactly like this and all of them had an O-ring, so that confirmed it. So I just went ahead and measured it. Now, if you go to measure this, you know, the this set of uh, vernier calipers, you go there into the groove, you go to the other side and you think you've just measured it, but you really need to pay attention. If you take a close look there, you can see I'm not all the way down on the groove, so I'm not actually measuring the diameter of that groove. So I did a little trick where I got a white background, aligned the one side, slid the other side in behind, played with that, and I came out to measuring right about 5.2 millimeters. I had a look at the body here and thought, okay, it has to be more than 6.7 but it needs to be less than the threads for sure, which is eight, uh, about 8.7, depending where you measure it. There's also this little flat spot on here. Uh, you could see right there. So I had to get the right dimension of O-ring, so it's gonna fit into the body right. And it seemed like I did another little measurement. It's about a one millimeter deep cutout here for the O-ring. So I need a five millimeter inside diameter one millimeter cross section o-ring and it's going to be about seven millimeters on the outside diameter i searched aliexpress and found a bunch but it was going to take months for them to arrive so i just went on amazon and you get a 50 pack of this exact o-ring i don't know i think it was eight dollars canadian or something like that so i'm just going to open this up and let's see if this fixes it now and we have a proper suction on the back filler and that way if you have whether it's this pen or a different pen they all work generally the same way. If your pen isn't sucking up ink the way you want it to, well, give this a look on your vac filler. So let's just pop one of these out and fit it on there. Just go ahead, slip that over top. That fits on there absolutely perfect. I'll do a quick measurement of that now. Here we're getting just a little bit over seven, about 7.1, 7.2, somewhere in there. So that's perfect. It's inside the thread. That's gonna fit nicely in the body. Uh, before I screw it in, I am going to reapply a little silicone grease inside the walls here just to lubricate that. Uh, a touch here on the O-ring and a touch on the threads. Now there are different types of silicone grease you can use. I happen to have my little bottle of Twisby grease super close by. And this is a paper clip. This paper clip actually has a plastic coating on the inside. Sorry, a uh, plastic coating on the outside. So I'm not worried about it scratching anything. I'm just putting a little dab on there and just a little dab on the threads. I'll get a little bit more off the tip here because it's just, that's all you need, not so much. And then same thing, just wet it a hair and I'll put that up inside the barrel just to lubricate that as well. I'll pull the plunger back so I can get a little further in there and just a little dab around the inside there. You can get a Q-tip, you can get a toothpick, whatever you want, whatever your pref personal preference is for this type of work. Nothing sharp. I know you're thinking paper clip, but like, like I said, there's this plastic coating on the outside. It's not sharp at all. Okay, so I'm gonna slide that up and down. It's nice and smooth now. There's even this little uh, wiper right there. You could maybe uh, lubricate that just a touch if you wanted, depending on your pen brand and your model. 
There we go. So everything is nice and smooth. And we'll screw this nib section back in place here, the whole unit. Grab it top and bottom. Be careful not to go too crazy. Don't want to bend any feeds or anything like that or any fins. Make sure the nib is looking good. I'll check it under a loop really quick here off camera. Nib looks all good. So now here comes the real test. I will measure how heavy this pen is before I fill it with ink and then afterwards and we'll see how much ink it sucks up. So let's hit tear about 23.3 grams. We'll hit tear again. Now I will ink it up. The ink I'm using is right here. This is, a, I don't know, just a personal favorite, it's just really specifically for this pen. I usually don't have that very often where I really prefer a one specific ink for a very specific pen, but in this case I do. Let's draw it back. Put in the pen. Yeah, let me pour some out. All right, let's pour some of that in there. Designed by yours truly. All right, let's try this one more time. Now I can see the bubbles. That's what I was looking for. Let's check the pen weight now, and then I'm going to try a super fill just to see the difference. So we're getting about 0.8 milliliters. I'm going to do one more time just to see if we get anything extra. Okay, we got a little bit more, one milliliter, which seems not huge. So what I will do now is what's called a super fill. So it's much easier on a demonstrator pen, but what I'm going to do is I pull back the piston rod. You wanna make note before you do this of how far this goes down before it, it goes past the, the break there for the seal and then everything shoots out. But uh, I'm just gonna eyeball this, especially on camera. And I'll just press this out a little bit and I'll watch until I start to see ink coming out of the feed. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna go. Finish it off in the ink vial here in the miser. I did that again off camera, recorded the measurement, but forgot to hit record, turned off the scale and realized, oh, I didn't show you. But I did this off camera just, just so I could focus and prop, get a proper uh, super fill. And now I'm getting 1.4 milliliters of ink, which seems a lot better. Actually, I can go back in the footage and we can compare the uh, dry weight of the pen with what I'm getting now and I'll do the math on screen. So now we're getting 24.9. So now it's 24.9. It was 23.3 before. So that actually works out to 1.6, maybe with some rounding, uh, maybe closer to 1.5 milliliters of ink, but a lot more than what it was holding before, which is next to nothing. So now the good news is now this pen sucks which is what do you want it to do? Not for a bad reason, but for a very good reason, it's pulling up the ink. And this pen is such a joy to write with. Here is the ink. I'll do a quick writing sample and show you up close. Here's a quick little close up of the writing sample. It's always tough to show things on camera, especially with lighting and when your phone is casting a shadow on the page. What I did here, this is some regalia paper. So this paper, it's great. It just you know, turns the dial up to 11 when it comes to inks. It shows off shading even more, changes the color a bit. It's not perfect in its uh, characteristics. As you can see, we get a little bit of feathering going on, but it feels fantastic writing on this paper and uh, yeah, it makes the ink just go crazy. So there we go, I'm happy. This pen now sucks and uh, it's doing a great job of that. So if you have a vac filler pen that's not drawn up a lot of ink, that is one thing to check for. Make sure everything is properly sealed. Check for missing O-rings. Since we're checking things out, check out the subscribe button and the thumbs up and the comments. Catch you next time.